Gordon Bone loved a challenge. He was instrumental in Middle Tennessee Electric's rise to a position of national prominence in the co-op system. You're out there on the cutting edge and you have to make some decisions with the best information you have to take it and run with it. And that's interesting, that's challenging, and I enjoy that. Gordon served on the board of directors for 35 years, 23 as chairman. He wasn't afraid to make the unpopular decision if it was best for the co-op and its members. I don't like to see my trees cut either, but you know, you want your lights on, and you'd like to have an outage for a blink, or you want it out for 10 days while they restore the line. And it's a tough, tough situation to address that with the membership because they don't want those right of cleared. MTEMC President Chris Jones was selected by the board, led by Mr. Bone, to take over the helm after Frank Jennings' retirement. He was always one to, to think about and embrace his fiduciary duty, which, which means that being responsible to the membership at large. What's the best decision for the membership as a whole, not for one individual or even himself? Gordon brought his business background to Middle Tennessee Electric's board. He knew the employees were the key to MTEMC's success. People see them, they don't see me, they don't see the balance of the board, but we have a great group of employees. They're dedicated. They try to take care of the members' needs. They support management. Management supports them. And as some of them retire, it gives you a little bad heartache because you know what they've done and what they've contributed to the system. But the new ones come on all the time that are just as good and qualified and will take us into the next generation. Gordon was extremely proud and honored to be a part of Middle Tennessee Electric. There was a deep and enduring appreciation to the mission he led as the board chairman. We don't want to ever forget that we're cooperative, and that's what we're here for, is to provide them the best. And that's what I attempt to do. That's what we will do. Mr. Bone was able to connect with people at every level of society, and he also was able to treat everybody that he met on various levels of society the very same with, with respect. And so um, I will miss Gordon Bone. It will never be the same, but I will be motivated to work to honor his memory. And uh, what he would want would be for us to be the best cooperative we can be, serving our members in the best way we can. So that's what we'll seek to do to honor his legacy. Gordon has left us in good hands and with a strong commitment to community and to those we serve. Uh, Co-op is about uh, helping one another and being able to provide a service such as customer care and funding foundations, that's part of the cooperative spirit. That's what that is. Take care of your members, fulfill their needs, help out with the humanitarian effort in the community and make a better place for all of us.